I'm like getting five miles to a gallon. Remember, gasoline is extremely flammable. Extinguish your butt while you still have one. Okay, so what I'm dealing with here today is a leaky fuel line. Um, I hope the sending unit isn't bad. Always, always, always depressurize your fuel uh, rails, your fuel lines. Um, 4.6, uh, 4.3 liters. Uh, the uh, relay was in a different spot on the uh, 5.3s. They are right here. Pull this. Okay, that's your relay for your fuel pump. Just look under here, under your, uh, on, on your diagram, on your fuse panel. Now, more than likely the engine will either A, not start, or B, start and immediately stall. This will depressurize the fuel lines. So with that being done, um, just make sure, get in the habit of doing that. Don't go fetching tools until you do that first. Um, you really don't want any fuel line or fuel spraying in your face when you're screwing around with fuel lines. I've had that happen to me before. It's not pretty. So we got a large substantial amount of fuel leaking there. We got a large substantial amount of water leaking here. So most likely what happened over the years is that flotsam and jetsam has gotten up in there and corroded all the fuel lines out. So we're going to take a look at it now and uh, go fetch some tools and drop the tank. Uh, two straps holding this unit on. We're going to get some jacks and some wood here so that the tank doesn't go flopping all over the place. Quarter a tank of fuel in it too, so we're going to try and save that. So in 2004, the uh, Vortec V8 engines were converted to a returnless fuel system, meaning there's no return line. In 2005, the V6 uh, engines went to the same style. Um, another thing I should mention when you're doing this, your service engine soon light is going to be steady lit, especially after you pulled the fuel pump relay and uh, started cranking the engine over and the engine didn't fire, well, you're going to have that, uh, you're going to have your service engine soon light steady lit. And if it is steady lit, um, and you're done your job, take it for a drive. The light may or may not go out within a mile or two. If it doesn't, you're going to have to get yourself one of these. Um, more than likely the computer has set a code. Um, yeah. Diagnostic trouble code, DTC, uh, you're more than likely going to have one set. So I'm going to make a run to the auto parts store now. I'm going to go get some fuel line and I'm going to go uh, get this uh, fuel tank done.